let's just start with this hair is popping welcome back to the channel guys it's your girl mari perry and i'm back again with another video and y'all i'm coming with y'all with a wig install and an unboxing um if you guys are interested to know more about the specs of this hair how i styled it and more continue watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new here welcome to the club okay guys so this is the unice box that they sent me not even that they sent me because i purchased this with my own hard earned money they did not send me anything so with that being said this video is not sponsored but here are some goodies that I received, a crochet wand, eyelashes, wig caps. Um, what else was in there? Y'all saw it. Here's the wig. This is a V part, obviously. There's a band in the back. I got 150% density and the medium cap size because I have a big head. Okay, it's 24 inches. But y'all, when you guys see how long this hair is, it's crazy. So I started off with my hair already being in twists and I had a little section up top that was not twisted yet because I knew I needed to part it. So you guys will see me parting my hair here on both sides so that we are in preparation to blend. Once I twist those two pieces of hair up and get them out the way, we will see me putting on my wig cap. I really wanted to show you guys the foundation of my hair before I put the wig cap on because I cannot cornrow. Okay, maybe I can, but it's not going to look good, which I know it doesn't matter because a wig is going on top. But I just think my cornrows always come out janky. Plus, I have on these acrylic nails. So, that doesn't make it any easier to do. Braiding is already slightly difficult for me. So, doing my cornrows with braids in would not work. So, if you guys are like me, go ahead, twist your hair up. And throw that wig cap on. Putting on the wig was fairly easy. In the beginning, I showed you guys the V part. Basically... At this section, there are four clips. They basically work like clip-ins, so you just get the clip to where you want to put it on your hair, and then you snap down, and it'll snap into place. Already, I was like, wow, it looks so good. It blended nicely, but what I will say is, the wig has a hint of brown. My hair is black. I wouldn't say it's jet black, but it ain't brown either. <laughs> already, the hair already looks good. I didn't even style it yet. And this is my first time doing something like this. Look at it. It's so full. It's thick. It's just cute. So now we're getting into the styling portion of the wig. I basically worked that wig like it was my hair, which it is my hair because I paid for it. These are the two products that I use. I'll link them down in the description box below. Now, the Miracle Drops foam. I wish I had a different styling foam because I feel like I just wasted that product being that this hair, it's real human hair now, but it ain't growing. So use some regular styling foam. Look at those curls. And did y'all see how long the hair was? It comes down to my waist. Curling it was really easy. Not curling it, twisting it up was really easy. No tangles, minimal shedding, but the curls, they are juicy. They look so good. They're shining, they're bouncing. And the length, I was really surprised on the length because I knew the wig was long, but not that long. 
and curling the hair definitely helps with elongating it some more and we're almost at the top where we're gonna get into the blending portion of this wig y'all i really feel like my hair blended in seamlessly with this hair you guys can see obviously there is that color change but if you're not really looking hard enough I don't think anyone would be able to notice it. And y'all can see when I comb through it, it just looks so good. And be careful when you're um, combing your hair. I ended up pulling out some of that hair from that other twist that I had. But other than that, twisting this hair was really easy and it looks really, really, really good. And my hair was in that twist. Y'all can't even see my real hair. There I am doing the same process again. When I get to the top, I make sure to get those roots because obviously that is my hair covering up the tracks. All right, guys, this is what it looks like once I have all the twists in. It looks so good. The hair is so, so long. Look at it. I'm like, wow, I'm really shocked. I'm amazed. Now it's time to take these twists out. I'm using the Miel Rosemary Oil. I think that's the name of it. I don't know. It'll be linked in my description box below. The curl pattern with this twist came out really, really nice and it's so bouncy, y'all. Look at those curls. This hair is so nice. This video is not sponsored. Did I mention that? Oh, it looks so good. I'm about to put this wig on tonight. I'm gonna go see Barbie. It's beautiful. So this is what it looks like with all the twists out. But you guys will see that I will begin separating these curls to add some more fullness into the hair. It looks so good, you guys. I love this hair. But I am not done yet. I had to cut it. And to save some time on this video, I did not insert those clips. Let me know if you guys like the hair with the cut or do you guys like it without the cut. I love it with the cut. It looks so good. I'm obsessed with it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And to the rest of y'all, actually all of y'all, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out my description box for some more details on the wig. And y'all tell you nice to hit me up for a collaboration. See you guys in my next video.